I have a lot to say. These are the ingredients for the blood smoothie. In the video that I saw, there was an herb put in there. I don't know the name of it, so I substituted my own oregano, which has its own properties. Check out that video. Um, but in the original smoothie, there was Concord grapes, and it has to be the dark grapes, bell pepper, a red apple, I like Fuji apples, but these are pink ladies, turmeric, and the coup beets. I do not know if I linked or I attached the video that uh, shows how I process these, but I froze them intentionally. The beets were on sale, and I um, wanted to... Uh, get a lot of them and keep them so they wouldn't go bad so I froze them. Check out that video if it's not included in this one. So in the original smoothie that I saw, and this I saw this when I was watching Patrick Delve. He's a, a herbalist. Um, so in his smoothie, because these are frozen, I'm going to blend it in two parts. So in the video where I process these, I counted that it takes eight of these to make a half of a uh, beet. So I'm going to get a, a varying of sizes. That's, that's actually three. Four, five, six, a lot of these are stuck together. This is seven and eight. A cup of water and that of course is detracted from my uh, 64 ounces that I drink daily so this is a way to get in my water as well so I broke those down on purpose because they were a little bigger than um, normal than the other fruits or the other things I'm putting in here vegetables fruits so from my processing video I know that um, two of these makes uh, a quarter of a bell pepper. I cut the bell pepper in four parts. And then I'm going to put some turmeric in there, followed by a whole apple and some about a cup of grape juice. And last but not least, oregano. Please watch the video where I talk about all the benefits of these things. I'm sure combining them um, um, is extremely nutrient and they work together to reach a common goal. They all have their own additional benefits for consuming them. But for this particular video, this is what... Um, I'm doing to deal with the anemia that I am um, combating. It's a very delicate situation because I can't do something that works against my body's efforts to keep me anemic. I talk about it in another video, but my body wants me to be anemic to keep something that is trying to let off my blood from um, using my blood and growing in my body. So I'm going to blend this for the required time. I think I'm going to blend it twice. <coughs> so here it is. I blended this twice, actually three times, on purpose because I do not like my smoothies to have texture. This is an incredibly warm smoothie. When I made it, when I made it with fresh ingredients that I did not freeze, it was very warm, almost interestingly warm. Now this is like room temperature. I find that interesting and ironic because um, when you're anemic, you are cold and your body craves warmth. And this smoothie is naturally warm. 
And when you don't, when you remain cold and you're not able to get to that warmth that the body is craving, that burns nutrients as well and stresses out the body. So um, I found that interesting about this, this smoothie. Also, please check out the smoothie. I mean, please check out the video where I explain the benefits of each and every thing in this smoothie. Just like when you're consuming a casual, random diet and all the things that we're eating are working against our body, combining these things together work to ex exponentially benefit the body. I will say that if the processing video where I process these things is not um, included, please check out that video. It took a long time, but I will say it was very easy to go to the freezer and grab the ingredients and just pop them in here without having to wash clean or cut them or anything like that. Final thoughts. <clears throat> this smoothie is actually okay, dare say good tasting. I cannot express enough that I do not like beets. I have never eaten beets. <laughs> beets in the past have caused my gag reflexes to initiate. This smoothie is definitely doable. And I'm going to drink this three to four times a week. So I try to drink this two of these in a day. And it's, this is potent. This is potent. It ran right through me. The second smoothie just came out of me like, I'm just going to leave it like that. So that lets me know that I, I, I really only have to do one of these a day every day or I'm going to do them three to four times a week. Also, I like these smoothies because when you drink them, the red in these beets, well, the bad thing is that it gets everywhere and I've spilled some on my clothes and I have yet to see if, you know, they will, it will, the beet juice will come out. But when you go to the bathroom, there's going to be red everywhere. Don't be alarmed. You're not, it's no internal bleeding. It's actually the, 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 the color of this, these beets. And it also is, it, it's keeping me regular. And it's a marker for me to know if I'm digesting my food. So like I, <laughs> like I drank one and the next day I didn't drink one. And I was just waiting to see if, you know, my, the food that I ate the day that I drank this came out. And I knew that when the beets, you know, the, the, when the beets came out, basically, because it changes the color of the um, water in the commode. I will say, the turmeric, I, I cook with turmeric. <coughs> the turmeric is more potent than it is when I cook with it. It definitely has a strong taste in it. I believe that's all I wanted to say. Until next time, thanks for watching. Did I forget to mention? I do not like beets. I do not like beets. Up until a couple of days ago, I do not eat beets. 